There was a time not too long ago when the working class was center stage in Bollywood. In those days, Amitabh Bachchan wasn't just an angry young man, he was a star with a hammer and a sickle. But it didn't take too long for the factory worker and the farmer to disappear from our screens to be replaced by the upwardly mobile middle class. So Tina, London में तुम कहाँ पढ़ती थी? Oxford University. Oh Oxford, that. तुमको कैसे मालूम? क्योंकि आज सुबह ही principal साहब ने मुझे आया 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 आया. Today the workers of India have become completely invisible to us. Even when they organize in massive numbers. our mainstream media completely ignores them for instance did you know that right now hundreds of thousands of farmers factory workers and laborers are coming to delhi from across india to voice their demands i bet most of you don't even know about it because it has found virtually no coverage in the media how did this happen how did the worker vanish from public discourse it happened almost overnight in the early 1990s and that was because of a fundamental change a virtual u turn in how india's economy was organized all the things that started changing from the mid 1980s the watershed event here were the so called lpg reforms or liberalization privatization and globalization policies that were introduced in 1991 by manmohan singh when he was finance minister it officially ended the period of nehruvian socialism where the state used to occupy the commanding heights of the economy in those days the government and babus decided what was to be produced how it was to be produced and how much was to be produced and this used to be done through an intricate system of licenses quotas and permits crucial parts of the economy were planned by the state with two key objectives development and growth and improving the lives of the poor of course private uh, companies did play an important role here but they needed permissions to produce things and they were closely regulated also What another thing that used to happen is that excessive profits used to be taxed away and runaway prices were often controlled. This gave the netas and babus and everyone who drove this control economy a lot of power. This political bureaucratic managerial class effectively ruled the country. But money power was still with the corporates and traders and big landlords in the villages. The ruling elite, the political bureaucratic managerial class needed to counterbalance this Uh, economic clout of the mercantile classes who better to do that in an electoral democracy but the working classes whose interests were always counter to the interests of those who own property whether it is a factory owner or a landlord so the ruling elite built an alliance with the workers and farmers giving them some degree of legal protection against the property's classes and at the same time also valorizing them in pub in the public sphere Writers wrote novels about the lives of the poor. Journalists broke stories about the oppression of workers. Bollywood cinema had working class heroes. The state run National Film Development Corporation of NFDC financed art house cinema that was centered around working class themes and then these films were shown on state owned doordarshan. The LPG reforms put an end to this. As the state withdrew from the economy the bureaucratic managerial class became supplicants to the mercantile industrial class to corporates and businesses and they no longer needed the working classes earlier when india's economic thrust was on manufacturing get that too through the public sector factory workers could unite on the shop floor and organize to express their grievances and their demands a few things happened in the post liberalization period which would gradually end that First was that manufacturing took a back seat and the factory workers lost their clout amongst the working people. Secondly, contract workers gradually replaced regular salaried permanent workers. This meant that they neither had the legal rights to organize nor did they build long-term ties with their workplace or their colleagues unlike what permanent workers used to. Finally, farm jobs gradually gave way to itinerant and isolated service sector jobs. workers operated now independently from each other and had nothing in common that could unite them in a single space all this weakened work and class unity and made them virtually voiceless in the overall polity the only way for the pure to organize was 
through caste organizations and caste based parties. These caste organizations foregrounded identity politics and pushed class demands into the background. So it is no coincidence that mass organizations of peasants and workers became weak, broke up in some cases, and were gradually subsumed under the various caste based parties from the early 1990s. Because of this, working class characters and working class issues disappeared from our popular culture and also from the headlines and front pages of mainstream media. As the dominant discourse began to celebrate big corporates and turn them into household names and heroes, trade unions came to be represented as lazy, anti-development and as a pampered elite. This is how the working classes, factory workers, laborers and farmers became invisible to us and we stopped considering them as anything other than numbers. They stopped being real people. Very few news outlets make it a point to bring you the stories of our working people. NewsClick is one of the very few who do. So if you want to know more about how the other half lives, subscribe to our channel and do press the bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video drops. Until next time, goodbye.